Three things you might not know about Graceland. Number one, Elvis did not name this legendary estate. The estate was named by the original owner of the Graceland farm, S.C. Toof, after his daughter Grace. Number two, Graceland was not Elvis's original burial site. Elvis was originally intended to be buried in Forest Hill Cemetery in Memphis, next to his late mother Gladys. After an attempt to steal his casket and hold the body for ransom, both Elvis and Gladys's bodies were moved to Graceland to avoid further incidents. Number three, Graceland was nearly sold to the highest bidder. After Vernon died in 1979, Priscilla Presley served as an executor to the estate along with the National Bank of Commerce in Memphis and Joseph Hanks, Elvis's longtime accountant. Due to the $500,000 it required per year for upkeep and the hefty property taxes, they were worried about having to sell it. Instead, Priscilla hired a CEO to turn Graceland into a museum. And once it opened to the public on June 7, 1982, it took only a month to make back the investment Priscilla put into it.